Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be reacting to a show I've been really looking forward to. It's called Them the Scare. This is the second season of the show Them. The, the original season, I think, came out probably pre-COVID. And it's just taken a long time to get a second season. It's a uh, it's an anthology, so it's a different story. Some of the same people playing in playing different characters. So um, the first one was so good, terrifying, and I I think this one's going to be pretty much along those lines. Um, I reacted to a trailer, or I mean, I broke a trailer down on uh, on the channel. So if this looks familiar, this is what it is, and. I'm so excited, but before we get into it, now would be a great time to hit that sub button if you haven't already. And uh, you know all the ways to support the channel, like, share, comment, you know, all those things uh, completely free and help the channel out. So yeah, do those if you don't mind. And uh, let's get into this horror show. Fear is pain arising from the anticipation of evil. Here we go, here we go. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so what do we have here? Are you ready for today's lesson? Yes, yes sir! Then listen to your father and repeat Animatronics? <laughs> okay, so someone spent someone was kidnapped or abducted, I should say. Los Angeles nineteen ninety one. Pam Greer. She is so amazing. I'm so glad she's in this. Thanks, Mom. Calvin! Go to work! Happy birthday, man! Just the fact that Pam Greer is in this is a treat. Little Marvin. Amazing writer. 1227 East 35th Single family residence. El Chato on Olympic? Best breakfast burrito in the city, boss. No food at a crime scene, and don't call me, boss. I'll take hers. Late nights? <laughs> That's because He's ready for a burrito. That's because you're an asshole. You responding? Call came in just before 6.30 a.m. Victim is a Miss Bernice Mark. Children. Malcolm, 16. Where's Malcolm now? Transporting him to PAB for questioning. Only material. Children? DCFS has him downtown. That's not a good sign when the cops are ralphing. Come visit Caroline. The kids were in this bed when we got here. What a what a TVs. No Caroline. Dirty diapers. Broken toys. Square imprint. Closet in the master. Something was here. It's been moved. Why would you just throw your dirty diapers in the closet? <sighs> Maybe that one officer found the dirty diaper closet. You okay? Yeah, fine. Fine. You're going to want to come and see us. What did they find? Oh, that music. What the heck? Cleaning supplies lined up along the hallway into the kitchen. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? Well, I see some blood. Oh, oh, it's a head. Whoa, someone stuffed her under the sink. Oh my gosh. Victim's right leg has been broken. Bent. Well, yeah, to stuff her in there, you'd have to. You'd have to 
Wow. Oh my gosh, the foot is back by the head. So did a person do this or some kind of a ghost or spirit or... Oh, God. I think they want us to think this guy did it. That's what I said in the breakdown, the trailer breakdown. Are you scared? A little bit. That old... That, 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 that body was... What? I thought he was still in his underwear. Okay, so that could be the animatronics that we saw. Because there's some animatronics. Well, he's not happy. What the hell was that? I was just trying something new. You think... Something new? It's called improv. No, it's called a liability. Dancing around like that. You could kick some poor kid in the face, knock a molar loose. Who's paying for it? Exactly. That kid just tried to swallow a ski ball. They're not Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> Good luck with that, Billy D. Oh, come on. You don't have to be a douche. This is Detective Reeve. Sorry to hear about what happened to your foster mom. Yeah, I mean, also know that you must a monster did that. He's terrified. You? He's terrified. Yes. Consider the year Hold this back. is. He's. He heard the breaking of the her bones. I think. Don't traumatize him anymore, my God. Hide here. Don't act all scared now. Big tough guy, remember? Look at her. You have to do things right. Quit looking at her evil, detective. My name is Edmund Gaines, and I'll be reading for the role of Pookie G. Pookie G? A, a straight... Straight fuck you up! You fuck with me, homeboy. Flip it, flip it, flip it. You can do it, you can do it. Flip the switch. You got this, man. Hey, how'd it go in there? I guess this one wasn't mine. But the next one will be, though. I know, that's right. The universe don't quit on the ones who won't quit. I'm not an actor, but I do see a tongue come through here. And the ones who end up booking never stop. One day the right role and you'll meet. For real. Just keep you. trying, dude. I don't think he was hard enough. For your son. <laughs> you remember? I remember everything. Thank you. <laughs> he loves video games. Bring him by the restaurant sometime. I'll hook y'all up with some pizza and soda. Need any soda. <laughs> but I may just take you up on that. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> no, Caroline, get down. Get down, Caroline. Yeah, that sounds good. I love drums. Be right out. How are your you hands? Oh, here we go. I'm just asking a question. I'm just telling she you. She has something wrong with her? They are fine. Fine. Looks like they had meatloaf. Here we go. I am so glad she came back for season two. Oh. Ma! <laughs> I was trying out something new and that was the day I stopped cutting mama used to sit in her room every day after school and play with them puzzles I couldn't yeah 
have friends. Listen, you keep on talking, I will turn that garage into a puzzle room. Yeah, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so smart <laughs> and imaginative. <laughs> she was always trying to figure out something. Even then. Still is. My little detective. What are we seeing? Did something follow her from the house? No. Ooh. Okay, so I think I think we're gonna have the killer aspect of it. Plus something ghostly spiritual aspect of the horror too. They did that so good in season one. If you haven't seen season one, you have to. Oh, she came. She brought her son. This is Kenny. He's feeling a little shy right now. Hey, do, do, do you want some pepperoni pizza? Yeah? All right. High five it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. My. Do you have superpowers? Are you a superhero? <laughs> <laughs> really good with kids. Oh, well, my parents, they, uh, they both were teachers, so I learned it from them. Well, his dad, my ex, I don't want to get into all that, but uh, he's not good with kids or feelings. Mm -hmm. But you are. I think, uh, I think that's why I like acting. I guess I'm just not good enough, because I, I never get casted. You oh, he's good. Heart. You're good enough. You're you good do, enough. and a unique sensibility. You just have to keep trying. Also, brothers like you. It's either gangbanger number one or drug dealer number two. You know what? I get all these scripts that come across my desk. I'm gonna find something that you'd be good for. Oh, that's nice of her. You, you do that for me. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Here is my number, um, and if you if you find something, you you're gonna call me. Of course. Oh, here, you should have mine too. She's interested, dude. Ninja I was just the, huh? the guy's sister. My boy used to love them. He used to run around I the house in his little blanket, talking about Cowabunga do. The Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. Yeah, I... was his favorite. It wasn't Michelangelo. Uh, Donatello. Donatello is the funniest. Donatello. Yes. Okay. Up on my Ninja Turtles, clearly. Well, I just wanted to check on you. Talked to your brother yesterday. He loves you very much. Are you gonna take him? No, never. I would. He was very, very helpful. You eat your chilla. Well, you are lucky to have him. And he's lucky to have you. Mm. She's beautiful. What's her name? Hey. Kiki. Hi, Kiki. Miss Bunny said I'm too old to play with dolls. I never, ha like I never had an imaginary That's friend. That's weird. <laughs> So my, my brother had imaginary friends. There? Did you? Never. Let me know in the comments. Because I didn't like it. It was bad. How was it bad? Miss Bernice? Was Miss Bernice mm. mean to you or your brother this week? He was scared. What was Miss Bernice scared of, you think? Him. Him who? The man Miss Bernice was scared of. She didn't want to fall asleep. She didn't want us to fall asleep either. Hmm. He's in the house! That scared the crap out of me.
Okay, so that explains all the TVs. But who was in the house? Caroline, get down. Oh, she's gone. Oh, oh. I'm worried about them. Trying to lean and look in the win in the door. Won't work though. Kel? Whoa, she heard that. Oh, here goes the lights. You right out. Oh no, I hope something doesn't happen to her son. Oh, she's gonna lay him out on the on the floor. Uh, that that is hideous. She needs a board to put him up on, doesn't she? You know, like you see. Oh oh, is she gonna see if she can fit in there? Is that what she's trying to do? That is a small space. Man, I'd be afraid I'd get stuck in there. So you can fit in. She could fit in there. Now oh, that sound. No, she actually she actually won't fit in there. Was that a screen? Does she have an EVP on her on her recording? Oh, there we go with the lights. That was rough. Wow, guys, that was so stinking good. The terror, I mean, just like the sense of anxiety and, and it just, they ramp it up from the beginning of the episode all the way to that end where she says, or she hears it, are you scared? Oh God, that was so good. I can't wait to see more guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you, if you watch this, yeah. Let me know when I look forward to bringing uh, my reaction to episode two to you um, sometime this week or next week, probably next week. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.